Did you know that the average American consumes at least half a cup of sugar or more every day? And guess what? Cutting back on sugar might make you crave it even more. Some people even claim they experience sugar withdrawal symptoms when they try to quit. It's got us wondering what really goes on in our brains and bodies when we quit sugar. Let's find out. Within the initial 24 hours of cutting out sugar, the body starts to shed water weight. This is because our blood sugar levels are regulated by the pancreas, which produces two hormones, insulin and glucagon. Insulin is released when blood sugar levels are too high, while glucagon is released when they are too low. Without sugar intake, blood sugar levels decrease, triggering the release of glucagon. Glucagon then breaks down glycogen, which is the stored form of sugar in our body, to produce energy. However, glycogen is bound to 3 grams of water, so the breakdown of glycogen for energy leads to an initial loss of water weight. This phenomenon is often noticeable within the first 24 hours of avoiding sugar. As you enter day 2 of your sugar-free journey, you might start experiencing some physical challenges as your body works hard to create new source of energy. One fascinating process that occurs is called gluconeogenesis where proteins are converted into sugars in the body and fats are broken down into ketones to generate energy. This can make you feel tired, get headaches and even have sugar cravings. But there is not enough human studies to understand why this occurs, as there is limited research in this area. Interestingly, animal studies have shown that sugar can have potent effects on neurochemical pathways in the brain, leading to dopamine release. In fact, some studies on rats have even suggested that sugar can be more addictive than cocaine in certain cases. This is because sugar triggers a positive reinforcement loop in the brain, creating cravings and a desire for more. However, it's important to note that while sugar can activate dopamine release and create addictive-like behavior in animals, there is no scientific evidence to support the claim that sugar is as addictive as drugs like cocaine in humans. So those catchy headlines about sugar being more addictive than cocaine should be taken with caution. As you reach day 3 of your sugar-free journey, you may notice some interesting changes in your body. One noticeable effect is a metallic taste in your mouth, accompanied by bad breath. This is due to the breakdown of fats into ketones as a result of reduced sugar intake. Acetone, a type of ketone, is released in the body and can be exalted through the breath, often giving off a smell similar to nail polish remover or rotting fruit. In fact, some studies have shown that measuring acetone in breath can even predict the level of ketones in your blood. It's important to note that this smelly breath effects may last for a few days or few weeks, but it's worth mentioning that this is based on a complete elimination of sugar, including fruits from your diet. After abstaining from added sugar for 5 to 10 days, you may notice a change in your taste buds. As they become more sensitive to the taste of sugar, a study involving a water fast of 5 to 14 days revealed that participants had a lower threshold for detecting sweet flavors, indicating heightened sensitivity to sugar. This finding is consistent with the idea that frequent consumption of high level of sugar can dull the sensitivity to sweet flavors leading individuals to add more sugar to their food or beverages to experience the desired sweetness. After 6 weeks of eliminating added sugars from your diet, you may observe positive changes in your digestive health. You may experience fewer episodes of bloating and cramps and your bowel movements may become more regular. Irritable Bowel Syndrome IBS, a condition that affects a significant portion of 10-20% to 20 of the population in North America, is characterized by persistent symptoms like diarrhea, constipation, cramps and bloating. Medical professionals often recommend a low FODMAP diet, which involves avoiding fermentable oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides and polyols, including refined sugars, and opting for more natural sugars instead. Research indicates that reducing intake of refined sugars can alleviate IBS symptoms and lead to noticeable improvements within 6 weeks. After 10 weeks of cutting out sugar from your diet, you may begin to notice a positive change in your skin's appearance. Sugar have been found to contribute to the development of acne lesions, with some clinical trials showing that high intake of sugar can lead to acne breakouts within just one week. However, by following a low sugar diet for 10 weeks, you may see a significant reduction in acne lesions, leading to clearer and healthier looking skin. After a year of cutting out added sugars from your diet, you may notice a remarkable change in your sleep quality. A study conducted on 53,000 postmenopausal women revealed that 3 years of low sugar intake was associated with reduced insomnia, 
However, the impact of sugar on sleep is still a topic of debate, as some studies have even suggested that sleep can be improved with high sugar intake before bed. Nevertheless, reducing added sugars in your diet could potentially lead to improved sleep patterns, allowing you to wake up feeling more refreshed and revitalized each morning. Over the course of 1-5 to five years without consuming added sugars, your risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and obesity can be significantly reduced. Cutting back on sugar in your diet can have long-term health benefits, protecting your cardiovascular health and lowering your risk of chronic diseases. Research has shown that consuming excessive amount of sugar is associated with a wide range of diseases including various cancers, primarily due to its link to obesity. However, there is a growing awareness of this issue, with soda being a major contributor to added sugar intake and a decline in soda consumption in the United States over the past decade, indicating a positive trend towards reducing sugar intake. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and do let us know your opinion in the comment section.